Heroku is dead, long live Heroku. As you are probably aware, um, Heroku announced in, at the end of August that it will be terminating the free and hobby tier for its services starting with the end of November 2022. That means you can no longer um, use Heroku as a free user. You will need to go to one of the other paid um, paid tiers or you can migrate your Heroku projects to something else. And in this video, I'm going to show you a few alternatives. First on my list, uh, by the way, this list is pure random. It's not ranked in any way and order. So if you, um, so don't get confused. I'm not I'm saying this is the best one and that's the least, the next best one and so forth. The first on my list is Netlify. Netlify has long been uh, like a really good competitor to Heroku in the sense that Netlify and Heroku were um, one of the most used um, platforms to, to host your, your projects. So Netlify still has a starter package uh, that you can use to deploy your sites, to deploy and host your uh, sites and projects for free. It also has a good community, a good blog, which uh, allows you to get started and um, work pretty easily. Next, we have Vercel. Vercel still offers a hobby uh, tier next to the Pro and Enterprise. You get um, some some nice um, support here as well. You have uh, templates in Vercel. So if you want to do a specific, so if your application is, for example, a React project, you have uh, React support. If you have if you have, you have an XJS or a Svelte and so forth, you have the templates needed to perform uh, that deployment. Fly.io. Um, this is um, an alternative which uh, on the first, let's say, on the first look, if you go to pricing, it uh, starts to show, okay, you need to pay, you need to pay, you need to pay. However, they do say the following. Um, they have, for small organization and small apps, they have a free tier. So don't worry, it's still free. Um, they also have guides. I mean, the, I'm not so familiar with this one because I never used it, but it seems also to have really good uh, support for the user and give it a go and write in the comments what you think about it. Next, we have Dome Cloud. This one is, um, let's say, still under construction. However, it has, um, again, if you first have a look at it, you, you, you see, okay, hmm, $2, $10, $25, uh, but you said it's free. Well, it is actually free. So you have, you can try it out for free and you have um, free storage, free domain, free SSL. And if you um, <clears throat> subscribe or support the the Dom Cloud um, community, you get also custom domain and prioritized support. Tita Cloud, this one, as it nicely advertises, is free forever. You can build and deploy your ideas on the universe's most developer-friendly cloud platform. So, as you can see, um, it is free, so free forever. You have examples here on how you can perform different um, actions depending on what you what you want. So, uh, it mostly supports uh, Python and Node.js. Um, but you, depending on what you want to do, you have, as you can see, you have uh, examples and support for Go uh, and for other programming languages as well. The next one on the list is render.com. Um, you can host usually static websites on render.com and you can, you have so like I said, static websites, you can host services, you have Postgres databases. And if you want to pay a little more um, for your Chrome jobs, or if you cannot live without your Chrome jobs uh, and you want to have them here rendered here, you have to pay like $1 uh, 
so starting from one dollar a month but usually uh, for most use cases you can um, still use the free tier mycrotica.com uh, is the next one on the list um, you deploy your apps to aws really really fast uh, it has a lot of good reviews and and support as far as i could uh, could tell uh, i did not use this one uh, since i was mostly a, uh, also a heroku fan so um, i'll get you up to speed once i start using these alternatives so as you can see here it has a free tier uh, you have one environment um, 100 builds minute minutes per month ah, this can be still be enough depending on how big your um, your project is you have 20 deployments per month which should be okay as long as you don't want to constantly deploy your project and um, you deploy it I don't know once every two three days should be fine for a specific month Cloudflare um, Cloudflare uh, also has a free tier and uh, in this uh, overview, you can see what uh, what it offers. Of course, um, you will not have everything that has that's in pro business and, and enterprise, but it is still a viable uh, alternative if you want to try it out uh, and um, see what's out there besides Heroku and all of the other alternatives that I presented. Last but not least, uh, Adaptable.io. Um, this one has some really nice features also in um, in the uh, free tier. For example, you have free SLL SSL uh, certificates, and you do have some app limits. But again, if you do sites which are not um, that big or projects which are not that big or proof of concept, the free tier should be more than enough. Now. One question, do you have any other alternatives which you might recommend? Have you ever used any of these alternatives and want to say more? Then please write in the comments. Until next time, thank you for watching the video and I will see you in the next one. Have a good one and bye-bye.